All right, so in command, we are actually able to create our own custom smart plan to help us with those eight by eight new contact engagements or that 36 plus um, contact plan, touch plan. So we're actually going to go into smart plans. And once we're in smart plans, we will click on create because we're actually going to start with a new one. Um, I can quickly show you in the library, we do have, oh, not 78. We do have quite a few that are already provided for us. Um, so we have eight by eight new contact engagement provided by KW. These are quite a few um, created by agents. You can see down here, if you wanna see what the plan consists of, we can click on view steps and hover over each one. But you can find one you like and add smart plan here and then it's going to appear in my smart plans. But if you wanna create your own, you'll just click on create. So we'll put 8x8 custom smart, um, we'll just put custom and apply. Now to add those eight touches, the one thing I do want to remember while this page loads is that there does need to be a seven day delay between each of them. And you need to also remember that you can add in the contacts, first name so that it's custom each time. So once I'm at this screen, I can still edit my smart plan name if needed up here in the top left corner. Right now I'm at one day, zero steps and zero touches. So if I wanna start with a phone call, all I need to do is click on phone call. So I can make a call and it's going to give me actually a task to call them. Command doesn't automatically call or anything like that. Um, but we will say call and then I'll put the contacts first name space contact last name. So these merge fields right here, you can see use merge fields to automate content with associated subject. So right now it just says first name, last name, but when I use the other screen to assign someone to the smart plan, it's going to fill in that first name and last name coming from your contacts. And the task, I don't even really need it because my name tells me exactly what I need to do, but I'm just gonna add a note to myself. Um, remind contact first name, how, how I met them. So just a brief follow-up. I just want to make sure they remember me and I can click on this check mark to save my smart plan so far. So next I need to set a delay. So this is going to be a delay of seven days because this is eight touches um, over eight weeks. So that is one touch per week. So this is going to be seven days later and I'm going to save that. Next, I want to send them a handwritten card. So I'm going to create a task for myself. So I'm going to say um, send handwritten note to contact first name. I can say um, thank them for taking my call. And remember, we we did go over this eight by eight plan in never ending referrals. So if you have further questions about that, you will need to reference that class specifically. Um, I believe it was session four or five, actually, that we went a uh, five that we went over eight by eight. So after my handwritten note, I'm going to set another delay of seven days. And now we are on our third touch in our eight by eight. So the next one is going to be to send an email. I can go ahead and type the email here or I can use designs to go in and find a design. If you click on select designs, it's gonna let you browse through the design library for that email format and you'll be able to edit it there. But if I don't want to send the email yet because I'm, I wanna include market information that won't be updated, I can actually remove this step by clicking delete and removing it. And I'm actually just gonna set another task for myself to send market update email to contact first name and I can save that. Once I've gone through all eight steps and added my delay of seven days each time to make sure it goes over eight weeks, I can click save here and after my smart plan is saved, I can go back to the screen. I can see it's three touches and to add someone to the smart plan, I will just click on add contact here and follow the prompts. 